Welcome back to Dylan Pickup's blog. A question that we have seen come up a few times, especially in the last couple days, is should I hard mount my pickups or should I mount them with a mounting ring um, or on a pick guard? What difference does it make? Um, is it going to give me more sustain? Is it going to change the sound of the guitar? Instead of answering yes or no to this, we're just going to talk about the differences between it because uh, there are differences. It does, it does, there are differences in how it could affect the tone. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is really up to you and it's actually a choice. But I'm just going to show you a couple of things that happen differently in these two uh, designs. And then I'm also going to show you something that you can do um, to one of the designs to alleviate a couple of the inherent problems that it has. Okay, uh, We're actually going to steal from each other and, and, and show this. Now we talk about what an, a magnetic pickup and a guitar does. There's a magnetic field that goes around it. If you go back to our other blog and we can learn specifically uh, in fast the, the last few days the various factors that contribute to this but let's just keep it real simple. When this magnetic field over this pickup is disturbed by the string it causes an AC voltage within the coils that goes to the amp. The specifics of that can be found on some of our earlier blog posts. But that's the long and the short of it when this magnetic field is disturbed by the string okay now in an, in a perfect world we don't want anything to move and all we want really want is the string to move because when we play that note what we want that note to sound like when we play it is what we want to come out of the amp but because we're dealing with vibration and we're dealing with some interesting designs here sometimes more than just the string can move. Theoretically, and not theoretically, this literally can happen. Because of the way a pickup is hung in this pickup ring, and you got that little spring and the screw, have you ever gone up to your pickup and you can actually push on one side of it and you can, and you can rock it back and forth in there? If you do that with, and tap on it like that and move it with the volume up on the guitar, which you're not feeling, you're not really hearing all this, anything else. You're not hearing any of the wood or any of that. What you're hearing is, remember we said, if this magnetic field gets disturbed, this string can stay 100% still. You could mute that string and keep it 100% still and move the pickup within that. And basically, that string would still be disturbing the magnetic field because the magnetic field will be moving around the string. The long and the short of it is, the relationship between those two objects is moving, creating an AC voltage and making a sound. That's why when you go and you tap on that thing, it'll actually, it'll move and you can hear it, okay? Because you are causing a disturbance in this magnetic field. Now, that's because this thing wiggles back and forth. That happens while you are playing too. So what technically is possible? is that this pickup can move out of sync with what the note in the guitar is doing and it can change how it sounds. That is technically possible. But because a guitar is, the tone is a sum of all of its parts put together, the bridge, the string tension, everything else, are you gonna hear a difference between this one and one that is mounted directly to the body? It is possible depending on the other parts in the construction and the tension of everything. Motion in the pickup itself is not what we want. We want the pickup to be 100% fixed so that we get a most accurate read of what the movement of the string is. That's why we wax pot for instance because it keeps all these parts all stuck together and basically makes it to where they stay together and they don't vibrate within each other because if you actually have you can have different vibrations and noises come in also that's what that when a pickup is microphonic and it actually picks up vibrations other than the string that's because this stuff is moving around in here either the coil windings to themselves or the parts are jangling around and causing that microphonic aspect so in an unpotted pickup especially it can be very noisy all this moving around wax pot it, it minimizes it a lot. Now the perceived benefit 
And I say perceived benefit because, like I said, it happens with everything else in all those factors come into play. It's not just that. So the perceived benefit of a hard mounted pickup is, and what people say, is that because it's hard mounted to the body, that you can actually create more sustain because it's hard mounted to the body. What the real benefit here is, is that the pickup moves less so that you're getting a more accurate so again, we go back to the string moving and the pickup doesn't move. It doesn't move in relation to the string. So, can it vibrate with the body when the body vibrates? Yes, it can. But the majority of those changes and everything that affect is at their first points of contact, the nut and the bridge. Anything after that, the percentage of effect is a lot, lot less than what's at the bridge. The interesting thing too is most of the time, it is not just a pickup sitting on stilts, screws. There are, there's a couple companies out there that have something in here that's like a block, you know, so you can adjust the height. Um, the poor man's way to do it is to go to the dollar store and get flip flops and cut them up in pieces and you stick it underneath here. So it ends up being kind of like a P90, you know, and you can actually squish that down. But the same thing is happening is you're able to make it to where you can adjust the height, but it takes the slack out of it. Now here's the cool part. You can do the same thing with this pickup and you can quiet it down. If it's rattling, if you're hearing the springy noise, because sometimes you can hear the springy noise when you're playing uh, because it's moving and it's not supposed to be moving, go to the dollar store, get yourself some cheap flip flops, pick, cut them up, get them to the right thickness, take this pickup out, stick it underneath here, and you basically have more or less the same effect as you have over here with a hard mounted pickup. It's very, very similar. So what we're really trying to do is take motion other than the string out of the pickup. Now, creating feedback and all that sort of stuff with loose parts, that's a thing. That is definitely a thing and people use that in their tone. But what we're talking about right now is sounds that we don't want to create outside of the string. One of the things that people really like about hard mounting it this way is it does cut down on feedback, it does cut down on outside vibrations because you're taking up the slack but a lot of that has to do with what you're putting underneath the pickup not the actual screwing of it to the body same thing here there's a couple things you can do you can replace the spring with rubber although if it's not cut hundred percent perfect this pickup can kinda of sit in there a little bit crooked so you gotta make sure it's really nice and square otherwise the pickup uh, the springs sit straighter but they're noisier the rubber if you cut it crooked the pickup will sit in there crooked get yourself some cheap flip-flops cut them up stick them underneath there It'll make that thing sit perfect however you want and then it'll give you a little squish for some adjustment too. It'll take away from feedback, it'll make it to where it doesn't rattle in there and it'll make it mostly to where this pickup doesn't move when it's not supposed to move so that you have a tighter sound and a tighter string read from your guitar string. That's the long and the short of it. If you have any questions, if this raises any questions, I know it's a controversial thing but there are some basic mechanics that go to it. If you have any questions you want to add to it, please let us know. My name is Dylan, and this is Dylan Pickups Blog. We will see you next time.